Hi, Soul Family. This is Ascended Twin, 144K. I'm here to pick up where I left off, like I told y'all, on the second half of that first reading. If y'all are understanding anything, you are noticing that um, you have a lot of unexplained information that's coming out to you. It may not make sense. I did a reading for y'all called The Fallen. Fallen Angels. There are some of y'all that have actually dealt with fallen angels. Whether you know this or not, you understand it or not, there could be a lot that's going on that you need to see and to understand. Family, y'all know time is fluid, so this could be past, present, or future energies. The energies can be reversed. The roles can be reversed. This could be you or your person, you versus them, same-sex relationships, as well as divine counterparts. Anytime you were guided to my channel, you clicked on a video, it was time for you to receive a message. If for whatever reasons the messages do not resonate, check your uh, check at a later date. I happen to be a future forward predictor. A lot of y'all could go back a year and you can see some of the karma of the Divine Masculine in their karmic or karmics. I've already posted this. A lot of you, you come to my channel, but you doubt what I give you that's because it's so far ahead of you and you can't always see what um, I'm giving you ahead of schedule and I get that part and it's not your fault I, I can't help that I'm a future forward predictor too and I read not just for the 144k I read for this planet Donald Trump was the president that I was talking about that's being investigated his home in Florida Mar-a-Lago or Mm -hmm. It's under investigation. He's under investigation. Go back. Watch some of the readings. Family, if this doesn't resonate for you, come back at a later date. Also, if it doesn't um, resonate for you, but you know someone else that it does, send them here so they can receive the messages. And if it still doesn't resonate for you, I'm just not your reader. But thank you to each and every last one of you who has subscribed to the channel, who have booked readings with me, and as well as those of you who have donated to the channel. Family, I am working on, um, I've given someone here a reading, and um, I have another person that is due for a reading, but um, I am going to come in and do a live for y'all. Where I'm going to pull um, like maybe the first several people that show up to do a personal reading for it. Well, a general reading for you, okay? I have the Divine Feminine, a Pisces. You know someone's name or someone knows your name or someone has been calling you by name. Or somebody has been using your name. There's something going on here about a Divine Feminine. You could be a high priestess. There could be something that you need to listen to where your intuition is concerned. And I'm going to pull the cards that have my names in them as well. So we can see what's going on here. Ooh, you're on my mind all the time. You're always on my mind. Yeah, baby. Somebody is on... Divine Feminine, you are always on somebody's mind. So somebody is thinking of you. Divine Feminines, in the past, you could have been scorned. Somebody here either has the ability to be a cosmetics um, creator or someone here could wear a lot of cosmetics. It could be a Pisces. Somebody here could also wear name brand cosmetics. Somebody here called someone's name that could be cut a cutthroat person. Very cutthroat. Something here took place between 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. and somebody was scorned. And it could have been you, Divine Feminine. There's something that could be taking place between 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. where car tags are concerned. Somebody may need to catch an Uber. And I'm going to sit these over to the side for the first first half of it. I'm going to see what comes out for the Divine Feminine with my homemade deck. 
Whoever this is, you deserve better. I'm not ready. They're lying through their goddamn teeth. That's right out the gate. And this could be a divine feminine, male or female. Somebody's name could be Martin. They could be lying through their goddamn teeth. And I'm not going to clean it up. I also have a Vera that could be lying through her goddamn teeth. To a Martin. Or I have a Vera. I need help. Will you help me? Male or female? Because I'm not going to put all of these that divine feminines ain't been doing right either. That's why Spirit made me create this damn deck. Because all of these divine feminines ain't doing right on their own spiritual journey. And I'm not going to clean this shit up to make you feel better. To hold your hand. Get your ass and get your shit. Get your shit. Get your shit. And get out or get it together. Figure out which one you're going to do. Somebody says, I need help. Will you help me? Yes, you can trust them, but take it slow. Holy Spirit, give me some energy on that divine feminine for the divine collective. Don't let them play on your emotions. So somebody going to try to finesse your ass. Let them talk and you listen. Listen to you. Let your intuition play. Somebody is saying no, no, no to a Jerome. Possibly a Victor. Could be a Pedro or an Ashanti. See you in 30 days or less. Joseph. Mina. No, they'll never change narcissistic energy. Amanda. Holy Spirit, give me some energy on the Divine Feminine for the Divine Collective. They have to get divorced first. Either you, Divine Feminine, or your person. And this person's name could be Kumar. They miss your sex, so don't rush it. They find you irresistible. What else is here, Holy Spirit, on this Divine Feminine, please and thank you? Messages on the Divine Feminine. Somebody like your Kurkat or your Dangalang, Divine Feminine. Messages for the Divine Feminine. See you in 30 days or less. Could be a Joseph, could be a Mina here for someone. Get a Reiki healing session. Make it a date. Somebody here may not ever change. They're a narcissist. Could be a Mina, could be a Joseph could be a Kumar, could be a Giovanni. Somebody, Spirit says, yes. Oh, shit. What else is here, Holy Spirit, about this divine feminine, male or female? See, I'm going to call y'all asses out, too, because Spirit tired of playing fucking games with y'all. I have an Amanda here. I need help. Will you help me? What else is here, Holy Spirit? There are next four reasons. Hmm. Could be an Elizabeth involved or Lucinda. Yes, 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 it's a go. Somebody feels like, oh, you can move forward with this. I don't know if you can. Divine Feminine. I have a William here. And I have a Tory here, too. T-O-R-Y, Tory. No, they're still toxic as fuck. And it could be a Katie and a Victor. And a Hassan. What's underneath Hassan? Perry. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Maybe not so much on Hassan. I don't know. Could be on a Victor. Can you ever forgive me? I'm sorry. I wasn't a good person in the past. Well, damn. Could be a Shayna involved. What else is here, Holy Spirit? And y'all know the people, so take it how it resonates. Divine Feminine, this could be you or this could be the energy that surrounds you. Make sure their words and their actions match up and follow their fucking patterns. And this could be a Stephanie. I'm so sorry for how I treated you. To possibly a Tony here too. What else? 
Uh, Stacy is here too. I need you, you in my life. Don't ever leave me. So somebody here has abandonment issues. And no, they'll never change. And I have a Micaela as well. I really prefer men. So somebody here that might have been hiding bisexuality or have been lied on that they were bisexual or gay, they prefer men. And it could be a Micaela, a Giovanni, a Stacy, a Katie, a Kumar, a Victor, Tori, Mina, or Joseph. Those are all the names that came out with the Divine Feminine. So someone may have lied on your person. Somebody might still be toxic as fuck. So, Divine Feminine, let's see what's going on for my Divine Femmes. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for my Divine Feminines, please, and thank you. Messages for my Divine Femmes. There is somebody here, Twin Flames, Divine Feminines. You are to go to places that pique your interest. Attend social gatherings and talk and meet new people. There you could meet your Twin Flame. Messages for the Divine Collective, Holy Spirit about my divine feminines what messages do i have for my there's about to be a change god is stepping in and creating a tower moment for the twin flames what's under the tower a narcissist motherfucker twin flames somebody's having an altered view they seeing things from a different perception you could be dealing with a pisces or a pisces cancer holy spirit give me some more energy for the divine collective Somebody wants something to fall apart and not come together. That tower is coming in for that goddamn narcissist. I can't make it up. Get him, spirit. Get that ass. Get that motherfucker. I mean it. Sick of you narcissistic bitches and bastards. Go fix yourselves. Yeah, somebody has been heartbroken. They're deeply hurt, sad, separation. Break up feeling lost, grieving, grieving and mourning the loss of their goddamn twin flame because somebody is dealing with a self-absorbed narcissist and a one-sided relationship. Love, love bombing. Somebody needed to heal their subconscious mind in order to achieve their life goals. Empath narcissist paradigm. You gain truth and clarity. Spirit helped you gain truth and clarity about a fucking narcissist. Look at air. Your person is learning the narcissist versus the golden goddamn mirror. Go back and check your readings, collective. Holy Spirit, tell me about this divine feminine for the divine collective. Somebody, divine feminine, some of y'all are still angry. You're still scorned. You're not dealing with the hurt. You're avoiding conversation, calls, people places and things, boundaries, you're still angry from dealing with this one-sided narcissist. You need to open your heart back up. This person has the key to your heart. They like you. The romance is blooming, fun, flirting, and wants to date, but it's not going to be enough because somebody still needs to heal from heartbreak. This could be you or them both. Some of y'all still have money issues, but you need to have more unconditional love for yourself in order to have a magical mindset. Your damn runner is now chasing your ass. Somebody that left you with no fucking closure and they had an outdated way of thinking. What else is here for my divine feminine, Holy Spirit? Relational abuse. You need to heal from relational abuse. It's triggered you. That's the healing. That's what you needed to learn. Don't make any impulsive or reactive situations or respond rather than react. Avoid decisions based on fleeting emotions. That's what the triggers are for. Somebody here is strategizing how to get back into your heart. This person still has physical intimacy issues, but make sure if you fuck them, you do it for the right reasons. And nine times out of ten, that won't be the right reason. Somebody is missing you that is a part of your divine connection, your divine counterpart. What is this card that flew out? Yeah, somebody here is strategizing how to mingle. Hmm, I heard co-mingle. 
and somebody is definitely HIV positive and somebody is absolutely fucking psychotic. There's a child here. There's a small infant. Somebody may also have hepatitis. Divine feminines. Focus on yourself. Self-worth. Do your shadow work to show self-appreciation. Some of you already have received or will receive a love call. Somebody here wants to express love, a message of love. They're thinking of you and wanting to let you know. But be unapologetic, self-loving, and decide on what you have and then release it to the universe. This person has multiple keys on a ring. Somebody here that's dating multiple people, make sure your core values are in alignment. Some of you divine feminines need to get your core values in alignment. Somebody here is trying to release a false twin flame and release their guarded heart and start making healthier choices. Somebody here has gone into meditation about a snake. Somebody needs some time to heal to change their perspective before they start mingling or co-mingling again. Physical intimacy is the issue. Listening to their pride and their fucking ego. Somebody is also hoovering. They're waiting or expecting you to reach out and call Divine Feminine. Some of this is y'all too. Some of y'all are healing from narcissism and it's okay. Own that shit. Don't be ashamed to say that you were a spiritual narcissist or you were a narcissist. You may have been raised by narcissists and that's okay. But own your shit, goddammit. That's the shit that's the problem. When you won't take accountability and responsibility for the shit that you play in. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for my divine feminines? Some of y'all healing from addictions too. Sex addictions, drug addictions, gambling addictions, whatever you did and you overindulged. It was making you codependent, obsessive, controlling. You have a block and it created a restraint from somebody that wants to talk to you. And it would be your little con man, the escape artist. Somebody that was wearing a false self mask right along with you. You were pretending everything was okay. They could have been too. Somebody here was not happy. And it was ultimately a deal breaker. You had to graduate or your ass will graduate when you leave. This is either you or your divine masculine. Whoever is in the feminine energy at this point. Because you know that shit go back, back, back and forth. Hmm. Men lie, women lie. Little Wayne, baby. Somebody here is taking a, taking a break. What is these goddamn cards jumping for? Y'all got a lot of energy in these damn cards here. Somebody here thought they had paradise until they really re found out that they were dealing with a toxic pattern in their relationships. Always letting the wrong one come in instead of the right one. They block out the wrong, the wrong person. The right person for the wrong person. It's because somebody has some bad dating patterns. Some bad habits that need to be healed subconsciously. Yeah, somebody here self-sabotages their fucking relationships. And this is what's caused missed opportunities. Yeah, see? It ended. Somebody ended the shit. Somebody always want to rebuild it. Somebody is trying to reinvest. They want one more chance. One more chance. They see you as the real deal. This person had emotional intimacy issues. They could have left you behind with some. Somebody wants to communicate to the chaser. Your divine con your divine masculine. Ooh, some somebody here was dealing with a karmic partner. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Stop trying to be a people pleaser and fix other people. Fix your goddamn self. Somebody had to adapt and change and heal from somebody that has some destructive behavior habits somebody that was carrying a whole goddamn luggage worth of baggage somebody here is fucking leveling up from somebody that seduced them into a third party that would be you chaser yeah somebody was trying to woo. so this could be your divine feminine or your divine masculine that's in divine feminine energy trying to fix and people please with a fucking narcissist. And they had some narcissistic traits too. And God struck that ass. Hit them with some goddamn truth. And now they're seeing that their life goals with an empath snake paradigm ain't gonna work. Some of this, this is y'all feminine energy. 
whoever's in the feminine energy, this is your goddamn story. Make sure that your life goals and your lifestyle is congruent with your person. Either grow, again, grow together or grow apart. Somebody got to heal their subconscious mind from heartbreak and destructive behavioral patterns. This is a wedding, a marriage that's in separation. What's behind it? Palm tree stability. Somebody that thought the fucking grass was greener on the other side. This could be your divine masculine now and feminine energy. How does it feel? Ah, how does it feel, baby? Y'all need to go back and check that fucking reading. Your divine masculine could be in divine feminine energy, baby. And they are finding out how does it feel. Ooh, shit. Mm-mm-mm. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for my divine feminine? <sighs> Lord have mercy. When does it ever stop? There's a warrant for somebody's arrest. Somebody might try to take somebody hostage. Watch your back. Watch your back. Yeah, the ancestors. Somebody knows information about a body. Somebody got a body. Somebody got a body on them. What else is here, Holy Spirit? my divine collective about this divine feminine holy spirit give me the energy on this divine feminine for the divine collective oh well damn shit a lot of shit going on with this nigga or this bitch shit Somebody here doesn't have the ability to defend themselves. They let down their guard. They're no longer fighting for something. There's some type of karma. They're trying to avoid it. Somebody here was not a good person in the past. And there was a lot of gang stalking, a lot of gang activity. Somebody could have been legitimately in a gang. There is somebody single here that somebody has proof, DNA, that somebody has sex addictions. Or somebody here, there's some DNA about a body. Somebody saw the whole thing. I see you. And this is a part of somebody's awakening. Somebody is planning on detoxing from a situation. Somebody knows this information. Ooh, this could be a drug dealer we talking about. The ancestors know. Somebody here is on the prowl and there's some sex magic and my nose is going off. Okay. What else? Somebody wanted to choke the shit out of somebody. This is some BDSM. All the signs were here. Somebody didn't listen to their intuition. Divine feminine. Somebody got the shit choked out of them. Or somebody got choked to death. Somebody here. There were signs all around that this motherfucker had mental health issues. Holy Spirit. Give me the energy on the divine feminine for the divine collective. Please and thank you. Information out the gate about a dark haired person. Black hair. Somebody's into prostitution. Human, tra human trafficking is right fucking here. Also collective. Let me stop. Let me pause. Put the needle off the record for a minute. Somebody, it showed up in the state of Mississippi, was given a flower after they helped somebody that claims they were homeless and needed help. Whatever the case was. People are lacing flowers. In the human trafficking division. Fentanyl is being sprinkled on roses. Red roses. It could be any goddamn flower at this point. But that's human trafficking calling card. That you're being snatched. You're being gang stalked for human trafficking. Watch your asses. Male or goddamn female. I don't know which set. But I can tell you. It was done to a woman. So y'all need to be mindful and fentanyl, you will die from it. If you sniff that flower, you will overdose. If it don't kill you, it's to knock you out so they can grab you, snatch you, and rape you and sell you. Prostitution. And this ain't what you want. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Somebody knows some information about this shit too. Somebody here has lost money. This family could also be releasing some information. This family may have lost some generational wealth. This could be... <coughs> Somebody don't want me to talk about this. 
somebody here that could live by the mall could have investments in the all mall somebody here that could be a landowner of real estate in real estate i don't know why i'm getting this and it could be for the, a divine feminine somebody has been gang stalking you they some of them they've been following your ass to the mall i follow that ass to the mall what is that song what it is uh, what it is yo what's up can a nigga get in them guts i hear a bed creaking e -e 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 i want to say this is little scrappy song so this is in the south this is the prince of the south little scrappy was considered the prince of the south so we talking about georgia Y'all in the South, you need to watch your fucking back. But I'm going to say all of, across the globe. But particularly in the state of Georgia. There's somebody here that's in prison or has been to prison. They do some shit in the dark. And they do it in the woods, in the forest. Somebody here could be um, using some type of magic. This is crazy. This is too goddamn much. But my nose is itching and my spirit guides are telling me I'm on the right track. Divine Feminine. What else is here? Yeah, this has got to do with somebody's daughter. There's a challenging situation with someone's daughter, Divine Feminine, male or female. There's a child that's involved in the crime scene or is the crime scene. My condolences if somebody loses a daughter. But I got somebody's body here in the swamp and there will be a crime scene investigation about it. What else is here, Holy Spirit? For the divine collective on this divine feminine. Yeah, somebody here from out of town. Your daughter may have went with this person out of town to the beach. What's behind the beach? A son. The son may have known some information and may have went to the police about it. Something that could have been on somebody's computer. Somebody here mentally feels like they're in jail. There's some videos and look at the fucking footage video in a phone of somebody being held and restrained against their will. Somebody got the shit choked out of him. Somebody could have raped somebody and choked them while they were raping them. God damn. And my nose is going ham. What else is here? Holy Spirit for my divine feminine divine collective light hair. Somebody here could be a light hair color. Somebody may have been wearing a wig, a weave got their hair dyed this person may have had two-toned hair ombre hair that they went out of town with this could be a woman or a man but i have a woman here that's duct tape and hog tied in a fucking lake that go back to that goddamn swamp and there's a divine masculine that made a pact with some fucking friends and this shit ain't gonna work out what else is here holy spirit yeah, there's a dark-haired person. Somebody might have tried to change their hair color. Somebody was paid by a con man to try to shut somebody to fuck up on social media. Especially those of you divine feminines that have male or female that have a social media platform. And you are speaking out on your platform. Watch your motherfucking back. If this isn't you paying somebody to do this shit, this is somebody that's paying it to do to you. Do it to you. You could be on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, um, whatever fucking social media platform, TikTok. Uh, uh, I don't know. Fuck. I heard Instacart. And I see somebody is being interviewed by investigators. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for my divine collective and this divine feminine? Yeah, there's more than one body here. There's the investigation. Somebody aunt need to shit her ass down with all these motherfucking tattoos. Somebody ain't he, auntie. Somebody get called auntie is being investigated. Somebody here may have poisoned somebody too. And somebody could be buried alive in a situation. And I ain't talking about buried alive with the stress and the pressure. I'm talking about somebody buried underground with no fucking oxygen. And they're running out of time. Somebody here got their brains blown out in the northern part of the mountains and they're in a shallow fucking grave. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for the Divine Collective? 
and somebody knows that they can't escape this shit. There's a sketch artist of these women, and there's a karmic partner that knows and is going to tell all. Somebody might write a book about this. It could be a karmic partner, too, trying to get in on this shit. This bitch is a ticking time bomb. They could take her ass the fuck out, too, because somebody is in mental health. Somebody is stressed out with a baby they had with a fucking lawyer. And this lawyer has got all the knowledge in their fucking head about this missing person. All the signs were here, y'all. All the signs were here about a dark-haired person that's into human sex trafficking. This is some bullshit right here. If I have ever seen it. Y'all watch your back. Watch yourselves. Y'all are being gang stalked. Especially if those of you. If you are a spiritual healer and teacher. You are a high priestess. You are being fucking gang stalked. For some of you. I won't say all of you. But those of you who have really tapped into this shit like I have. Oh your shit. You being watched baby. Know that. And somebody planning on kidnapping your ass. Especially, I'll follow that ass to the mall. So this might be somebody that you don't know. They know you like to live the good life. Some of you, you have expensive hoop dreams and you like expensive shit. And this person is going to send a nigga in that you don't know. Whatever you like, T.I. So they're going to buy you whatever you like to get you thrown off. Or make you feel that they're going to buy it for you. And this is how they're going to set some of you asses up. Holy Spirit. Mother of God. What else is here for this divine feminine Holy Spirit? I have a hidden enemy. Somebody here. 12th house. Pisces energy. Performing fucking witchcraft. Holy Spirit, give me some more energy on this divine feminine for my divine collective. Please and thank you. Messages. And this bitch is deranged. Whoever this is that's performing witchcraft on you. And my nose is going crazy over here. Ugh. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for my divine collective? Self-love and self-care is your greatest weapon. Practice it. Swim in it. Drown in it. In self-love. Holy Spirit, tell me about the divine feminine for the divine collective. Somebody here is reckless. Either this is you, Divine Feminine, fourth house. It could be an Aries that's reckless towards a Divine Feminine, fourth house with a Cancerian. That's a fucking narcissist. That's hooked on either some drugs or someone. Somebody that has proof that somebody ain't got no motherfucking money and lies are being spread. This person ain't got no fucking boundaries or no limits. They smoke a lot too. I heard somebody shit is laced. Somebody is cocaine laced. Somebody smoking woolies. Yeah, somebody met they fucking match. Somebody is releasing somebody that has them mentally imprisoned and mentally trapped. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for my divine feminine, for the divine collective? Someone here is not walking away from somebody that is mad as fuck with them. Or mad as fuck to them. Yeah. Tenth house. They're doing it for fucking clout. Anything for clout. Cardi B. Let's see. Twelfth house. Pisces. Eleventh house. Aquarius. Tenth house. Capricorn. Somebody here got legal issues. And hidden agendas to an innocent bystander. That would be you, Divine Feminine. Or Divine Masculine, if you're in your masculine energy. But this is being done either by a Divine Feminine, male or female, to a Divine Masculine. Some of you women have crossed over into your Divine Masculine energy. Some of you Divine um, Feminines that were masculine, you have crossed over into your masculine energy. And this is being done to you. Or this could be being done to a divine feminine. I pray to God that no fucking divine feminine would be this goddamn foolish or reckless. But it could be there. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Yeah, they're in a one-sided love relationship. This card wants to come out, so come out. Somebody feels ignored by their false fucking twin flame. And somebody is crying over somebody. Second house, Taurus energy. The high priest is in a toxic connection. 
and a marriage with an ex-lover. An ex-lover? Who is the fucking ex-lover that has legal issues and bad contracts? Who is this ex-lover? Tenth house. Could be a Capricorn. Let's see. If I did it by zodiac signs, it would be Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, would be 10th house. So somebody is dealing with a Capricorn that could be a false sweat twin flame. Yeah, somebody's got proof about a fucking hidden enemy. Somebody here that you may not be communicating with. And 12th house also could be Aquarius or Pisces too. Somebody is off the grid and it's a high priestess. Somebody here is stressed about what somebody does for a living for their employment yeah you make them and they hate that you do it because you intimidate them sixth house the house of service that's Virgo energy what else is here Holy Spirit yeah somebody isn't generous and somebody is not paying somebody that's uh, using divination to spy on somebody yeah, somebody that talks good shit got betrayed. What else is here? And it's a distorted feminine that's going through an ending, male or female, because they did anything for fucking clout. And there's a best friend that may have betrayed them that was fake as fuck. And my nose is going ham. Somebody needed to focus on their self-love and self-care. What else is here on this divine feminine for the divine collective, Holy Spirit? Yeah, split personality. Somebody has two sides to them. Somebody that's gorgeous, that maybe takes care of their skin. Somebody is being stalked by a gold digger. Because somebody walked away. Somebody's beliefs, belief system caused them to walk away. They stepped into their spiritual purpose. What else is here, Holy Spirit, for my Divine Feminine, Divine Collective? Energy draining. Somebody is being drained. Somebody that's going through a divorce. Somebody's taking the ring off. Somebody is tired of somebody that speaks nastily. Somebody here is confident. Could be an Aries Leo Sagittarius. Got caught in the act. And they're receiving karma because the truth is coming out. Somebody is jealous. And somebody's got a fucking group of fake-ass friends. That they're being gang stalked by. What else is here? And the divine union. No money, no talk. So at the time, divine feminine, you may have not had any money. And this motherfucker didn't have no talk for you. Now, somebody here is also in the same sex union. Or meant to be in the same sex union. But somebody is performing witchcraft to control the outcome. And somebody is not impressed that you're woke. Somebody is still getting played or trying to play. Somebody that always plays and likes to party, party all the time. Party all the time. Party all the time. And playing games and they're going to lie to you straight face. This motherfucker is still a groupie. And they are deranged as fuck. Anything else here, Holy Spirit, from this deck? Yeah, self-love and self-care. Keep shining, Divine Feminines, male or female. Spirit wants you to know, keep shining. Somebody here is irresponsible. They drink and drive. Somebody is also losing money. And somebody is also in a karmic family, too. Somebody was definitely reckless with their actions. Somebody doesn't want you to be beautiful either, Divine Feminine. They want you to feel and look as ugly as they are. Uh-uh-uh. Not my problem, Booski. You gonna have to work that shit out. Okay? They're not my problemo. 
there's an infant here that could be having a cough somebody may also have hepatitis or contracted hepatitis during a pregnancy it could have been through a blood transfusion holy spirit give me some energy medical energy energy somebody here there could be an infant that suffered brain injury jesus i resonate with that i have a grandbaby that went through this process My, ba my grandbaby has a, a rare um, bone disorder and his uh, little skull got fractured when they delivered him. And he is so beautiful. Oh my God. And I haven't had an opportunity to meet him yet. Holy Spirit, what else is here? Brain injury and a burn. So somebody here either got burnt or there is some type of burn injury here. Somebody could have got burnt. So we have a burn. Digestion disease, sinusitis, encephalite, encephalitis. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Narcissist. A cancer. Some of y'all are dealing with a narcissist that's going to receive cancer. Or there's a narcissist. Somebody here is claiming that they don't have herpes. They may have had to... Um, this person may have been in a uh, dormant um, time when they gave childbirth. Somebody could be experiencing muscle cramps as well. There's a narcissist here, narcissist here that could be receiving cancer or there's a narcissist that is a cancer. And somebody here is about to overdose. Somebody here could also suffer from hepatitis and a cough. And I see paralysis here. I heard speech impediment. Somebody could also have warts and they could be delirious. Holy Spirit, what's behind it? Narcotic. Labor pains. And hysteria. So somebody could have been in a lot of pain when they were delivering their baby. Somebody here could be vomiting. Um, somebody might have stopped somebody from overdosing. Caught them before they and forced them to uh, vomit. Um, they could have used some charcoal or something to make them vomit. To stop them from overdosing. I don't know if it was a success or not. Somebody here could also be going through a back and forth situation where they eat and purge and they vomit. That's anorexia for somebody here, Divine Feminine, male or female. Give me the uh, medical energy on this is Divine Feminine for the Divine Collective Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Someone between the ages of 55 to 65 or someone that was born um, between 1955 to 1965. They could be using some type of narcotic. Something is going to happen between 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. Syphilis is here. Anorexia. What else? Diabetes is here. Type 2 diabetes. Somebody could have colitis. That's inflammation of the colon. Flu. Flu-like symptoms. And that could be the, the ending or the beginning of HIV. Croup. Somebody's child could have the croup or someone could have contracted the croup as a child. Between the ages of 66 to 76, chlamydia. God damn. Somebody could have given somebody chlamydia that was either 66 or 76 or born between 1966 to 1976. Somebody is retaining fluid. Somebody could also be suffering from intestinal worms. What's under intestinal worms? Between the ages of 33 to 43. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Anxiety, mental disorder. Somebody may also need a tetanus shot. Somebody is definitely not sleeping well at night. Divine feminines. Somebody could suffer from joint disease as well. And I see a head injury here. Somebody here could also suffer from gout. And that's definitely a joint disease as well. Give me the rest of it, Holy Spirit, for this Divine Feminine, for the Divine Collective. Take only what resonates as your story, family, because this could be multiple stories that's coming out.
Somebody here is trying to hide their bruises. Somebody could also suffer from epilepsy. That's a uh, maybe a disconnection from God. Or somebody is getting major spiritual downloads and somebody is trying to block it. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Somebody is also gifted in tongues. Fracture. So somebody is trying to hide a bruise and a fracture, a broken bone. Somebody could have gotten into a fight, Divine Feminine, and somebody could have gotten hurt. Seriously. Somebody could also suffer from liver problems, pelvic inflammatory disease as well. There could have been a baby that was born with jaundice. There's surgical swelling. Jaundice is also a liver problem, so that correlates and resonates. There could have been some surgical swelling. Somebody could have gotten a BBL done. Menstrual problems. Somebody here, look at this. High blood pressure. <sighs> boy, boy, boy. This is some of the energy that's coming out for this divine feminine. If it resonates, then that's your story. Only take what resonates as your story. Holy Spirit, give me the energy on this Divine Feminine for the Divine Collective. Somebody that's undergone multiple transformations. I see one, two, three, four, five transformations from a main male that you could have been dealing with. This could be you or a man. Somebody that's going through a divorce and is under judgment. Judication is here. What else is here for this Divine Feminine for the Divine Collective? Somebody is going through a divorce third party the community knows about everything what else is here holy spirit messages for this divine feminine for the divine collective Woo! whatever you were expecting that great fortune is not coming in god damn reversal of fucking fortune there it is not once but fucking twice somebody is taking a major motherfucking blow what else is here holy spirit Judgment for the main female. That was a liar and a thief with a mature man. There's a death or ending of somebody's reputation, integrity, and their honor. Somebody is going to fucking jail, and that's judgment yet again. Two court cases. Somebody here is about to be fucking broken in despair, and I see a divine feminine. Either you're about to receive some sudden wealth for your spiritual occupation and a courtship divine union that is the gift from the god and ancestors your celestial family your archangels and your spirit guides somebody here wants to reach out to you and send you some type of letter i don't care how you get here get here if you can yeah somebody here wants to come towards you divine feminine somebody here could be receiving some type of official or certified mail Somebody could have moved or there's some type of letter that's coming in. It could be an email, a text message, but this is going to be official. Somebody that's been thinking about you, there's a main male that's going through a transformation. They could have been childish or they have a child with a mature woman. Somebody that they chose over you that they live with and this bitch is a false person, male or female. They were in this third party for help, a handout. Somebody's been working very hard to go through a transformation. This marriage is in bad health, too. And somebody's going to get a message of concern on this journey. Somebody feels abandoned and left out in the cold. Somebody here could also be feeling stuck in their head about what to do. But somebody is going to jail behind money, a home, a business, something. Could be some money that got laundered and sent to the islands. Somebody could also be in a marriage, a commitment, or they're a cult leader. And somebody is receiving a great fortune. Somebody could also be going to jail. Holy Spirit, tell me about this divine feminine for the divine collective. Male or female.
Heartbreak. Three of Swords. Somebody salty as fuck, Divine Feminine. And somebody here either wants to give you an apology or make amends for breaking your heart. Because it fell right on top of salty. But somebody isn't sure. And this is what's causing the stalemate. Somebody here that you ended it with. And it was a soulmate because they were fucking selfish. You could have been dealing with a water sign. Somebody that was childish and immature. Flighty. Somebody wants to heal and balance why they ghosted you because they were juggling. Somebody could look at what they were doing that caused the imbalance and how they rejected the gift from God because they had other, other options. Somebody needs to resist their compulsions to tell lies and be a deceiver. Somebody could come in and tell you that they're single. Or somebody is lying that they've tamed their addictions. Somebody here that's being single, they deliberately sabotage you to keep you stuck while they were over here getting a sexually transmitted disease with this goddamn snake that they got and married instead of you, for some of you. And I got a candle over here that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, confirmation is smoking. And my candle ain't been smoking up until just now. Let me see if it's still, and it went out. Yeah. Somebody has no peace in the situation. My peace candle went out. So there's no peace in this situation. For you divine feminists. Now I want y'all to look at something. You see this candle here. Now the heat. And I just knocked it out. It just went out on its own. But you see how black this candle is burning over here. Now, this is my heart chakra that's being healed. And somebody doesn't want to heal. You see the influence of black magic on this candle? Somebody is definitely working black magic against me. So, y'all are not the only ones. Trust and believe. And somebody is still using heavy, heavy black magic against finances. Now, my confidence candle has burnt, blew out. And my peace candle. So somebody doesn't want my solar plexus to heal, nor do they want my heart chakra to heal either. But the devil is a lie because I'm being blessed. So you can forget that shit and miss me with the bullshit because that's not going to happen. I've been working every day to heal and balance myself. And see, my candles were sitting out here on the back porch over the summer, so they melted. It was so hot this year that the candles that I've been sitting out here on the back porch on my altar, they melted before I ever got a chance to use them. <clears throat> Hold on, family. See how hateful people are? The more you do your spiritual work, the harder they come for you. New, de new levels, higher devils. People do not want to see us ascend. They do not want to see us grow. They don't want to see us prosper. They just want to see us stuck and fucked up like they're fucked up. But that ain't my problem. That's your problem. Nobody forced you to make the choices that you made. You chose the choices that you made. So now that you've made them, live with them. I had to live with the heartbreak and I had to learn my lesson. does not want to relight they really do not want me to heal my heart chakra but the devil is a lie my heart chakra is going to be healed 
See, family, I'm not one to hide what I'm going through either. Here we go. And I have peace. I'm not stressed the hell out about a damn thing. That's the one thing I can say. No matter what happens in my day, I get a couple of people that try to trigger me while I'm at work, and these are clients. Hell, I had one client while I was driving them home because I'm a private um, chauffeur. I'm a subcontractor or an independent contractor as a limousine driver. I've been in transportation for a very long time, 20 plus years. So, somebody does not want to see me excel in what I do for a living. But, Whatever you have going on is not my problem or not my fault. I didn't cause the problem for you. So I can't fix your problem for you. But I don't, you know, hate you. But I'm not with the bullshit either. So Divine Feminine, somebody here wants to come in and give you a gift or a small gesture. And the Ace of Cups fell in my um, lap. North Node Energy could be a water sign. But they're unsure, and this is what's causing the stalemate. They're unsure about um, how to go through an ending or a transformation with you. Is there anything else here, Holy Spirit, that's connected for the Divine Feminine, for the Divine Collective? Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Something solid, something stable. Look at the union. 11-11. Where you were betrayed. That's over. You ended it and you healed. You went from the Ten of Swords down to the Four of Swords. So you went from the Four to the Six. You were being divinely guided to move away. To end things and heal it. They're stalking and spying and watching you. This person that possibly wants to reconcile and give you this love offer. The Ace of Cups. And it's a past life soulmate. They could be in the King of Swords energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, where they are ending something and being divinely guided to move away from it. And that's for those of you who want your twin flame back. What else is here for my divine feminine, for the divine collective? And do not hate on somebody that wants their twin black. Twin black. Somebody here could definitely be black. Somebody here wants to collaborate. But there are delays, blockages, and obstacles and setbacks for the Queen of Cups. Could be a water sign. Male or female. They have fears and insecurities, but Spirit is about to make some changes. Somebody here is hiding that they're imbalanced. Or somebody here is not listening to their intuition about their gifts. About a King of Wands. Somebody here who is learning a powerful lesson to have an ending, to have a new beginning, the Ace of Wands. Somebody here is also learning a powerful karmic lesson and they could have a sexually transmitted disease and they have to end something in order to have a new beginning. Right now, all they have is regrets. Regrets of what they invested in in a marriage or commitment to somebody that they may have gotten pregnant. Somebody here was hiding their because of their um, their pride and ego. Somebody knows the truth now. What else, Holy Spirit, for this divine feminine, for my divine collective? And if it takes me a couple of days or weeks to drop this reading, it is what it is. Somebody here either wants to reconcile with you or there's a third party that got pregnant and that's why spirit is delaying it. Somebody is receiving karma. And it's a king of pentacles that's already in another commitment. And it's going to cause nothing but conflict and chaos. 
karma is going to be served. Someone here could want to bring you justice and peace. But somebody doesn't want you to have peace. And it could be a fire sign. An Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Some of you, if you are fire signs, some of y'all have a doppelganger that is a fucking fire sign. Some of y'all, that could be Geminis. I'm hearing that as well. You could have a Gemini, somebody that has some of the same shit in your chart. Y'all could all be in the same boat where there is a divine feminine. You have male or female. There is a karmic partner that has some of the same astrological signs that make up your chart. Their chart is the same way. And I, I mentioned this to y'all months and months ago. So for those of you who have a hard time following me, you need to go backwards, not forwards. Because your stories are sitting in the past. I've already given y'all information now. And the collective has already given the information that I gave y'all a year ago. For some of y'all, it's over a year. For some of you, it's the first damn three years that I started reading as a tarot card reader. But I am not a tarot card reader. I'm an oracle and a high priestess. That's the damn difference. I know my spiritual gifts. And I'm learning the rest of them. I have a lot of gifts. And some of y'all got some a lot of gifts too. And it's time for you to put those gifts to work. And put them to use. Spirit wants you to help yourselves. And I'm going to shut this reading down for now. And I'm going to give y'all a break. But I'm going to um, put some love on this reading before I leave. See? Male or female, high priestess, past life, monk or a nun. Some of you lived during the Celtic times. And a lot of you were persecuted for your fucking gifts. Under Inquisition, knighthood, Holy Roman Emperor, the Knights Templar. Greco-Roman times too. Your divine masculine. A lot of you carry the wisdom of the trees. You have as much wisdom as those ancient trees out here. Some of you may have also lived on farms. But I was told to look at that deck for a specific reason. Holy Spirit, give me some energy of what the divine masculine wants to say to the divine feminine. Messages from the divine masculine to the divine feminine holy spirit please and thank you messages from your divine masculine to the divine feminine what do they want to say but they can't they are definitely reminiscing reminiscing about you and they're definitely with someone interfering in y'all's relationship messages for the divine masculine to the divine feminine you make me want to be a better person as they reminisce they think about how well you treated them divine femmes for whoever this is resonating for, but your person is not ready. And I heard they said, I'm sorry that I'm not ready. But I still love you. Ooh, Jesus. Messages for what the divine masculine wants to say to his divine feminine, but can't, male or female. I'm not ready, but I miss you, and I feel terrible for hurting you. I'm afraid of commitment. What else? I feel terrible for hurting you. I dive in and out of relationships and I'm still at a distance. I watch you from a distance. Can we start over? And this is a soulmate that wants to work things out. For some of you, this is a soulmate that they may be working things out with, but they love you. Twin flame, twin flame. I'm planning on reaching out to you. Jesus Christ. I still have growing to do. Please forgive me. Destiny is taking us down different paths. So when I saw twin flame, twin flame twice, that is confirmation from your twin. They know that you are their twin flame, as I've stated before, and I stated this a year ago. That your person is aware of who you are to them. Whether they call it twin flame or not. But the divine masculine has the ability to speed up their healing process and moving forward if they actually put the work in. You got to remember the divine masculine has resources 
available to him that the divine feminines, male or female, did not. Some of you were financially um, having problems when you met your divine counterpart. And they did not treat you well because they were materialistic for some of you, if not all of you. And they didn't, they just treated you very poorly. I'm not going to get into all of the bullshit. But I'm going to leave y'all with some uh, messages here on a lighter note. Because these energies are always harsh and I'm sick of them being so fucking harsh. And I want one card from three decks over here that I want to leave y'all with some messages for, okay? I don't get as often to read for you guys as I like, but I'm going to make the effort to get more to it. But I just have to get a schedule down pat because I just changed jobs. But this is my ultimate goal, is just to be able to read and help people find their life purpose and where they want to go and be in life. And I'm working on that through my own, okay? <clears throat> so know that I love you guys. I do not forget about y'all. And I'm going to sit these over to the side. And these will come out again because I'm not going to take them off the board until... I um, complete this reading. All right. Your person is telling me to tell you that they still have growing to do. Holy Spirit, give me the energy of the, what the Divine Masculine wants to say to the Divine Feminine, male or female. You are always on my mind. You're always on my mind. <coughs> Somebody is definitely reminiscing about you, Divine Twimmy, Divine Feminine. There could be a lot of fights and arguments that's taking place, or there could have been some with you, but they want you to be patient with them. They still have growing to do, and this was just a fling for some of you. Some of them are going to stay with their uh, karmic partners, and they're going to receive some serious karma for it. I feel like I'm not good enough for you. I feel empty without you. Jealous and possessive, and this is a soulmate for some of you. Or that could be that karmic partner. Finances are a problem. And there was someone definitely interfering in our relationship. And their friends and family don't approve of this either, Divine Feminine. I don't know what I want. Some of you, these people are hiding bisexuality. I can see myself with you for the long term, but I ruined everything. And you make me want to be a better person and I want things to work out. What else is he saying? Or she's saying that they can't say. I miss you. That's a lie. And I feel terrible for hurting you. They're trying to say they don't care. For some of you, that could be true. And this is going to be the end with you and that person. Because like I said, for some of you, your divine counterparts, they're going to risk it all to be with that karmic partner. And that karmic partner has sealed their fate and their destiny. What's underneath this? One-sided relationship. And they're going to stick with it till the end friend Chucky so somebody's name could be Chucky somebody could be dealing with a karmic partner's name is Chucky and they're absolutely demonic there is a third party here for definite and this is why they're not ready I can see myself with you for the long term what else is here Holy Spirit you are the person of my dreams I will find my way back to you one day I thank the world of you, and I gave in to temptation. And you are the love of my life. What else is here, Holy Spirit? I am planning on reaching out to you. And for some of you, this isn't your twin flame. There are lies, secrets, and deceptions here. Yeah. Somebody is dealing with a false twin flame here. And finances are still a problem. I find you incredibly attractive, and this is the upright twin flame here that gave in to temptations. This could be your person that was dealing with a false twin flame, 
or divine feminine some of you could find out that you had you were dealing with a fallen angel holy spirit what else is here that's the seed of chucky <laughs> damn karmic soulmate there it is somebody here is finding out that this is a karmic soulmate but somebody wants to work things out if they love you and put it in the upright some of you are twin flame soulmates as well so you have a double dose of karma to work out i feel you spiritually energetically can we start over what else is here holy spirit you are always on my mind they're at a distance from you i was pretending to be someone else so this person was being their true authentic self they pulled away from you because they were overwhelmed with all the things that was going on in their life what else they dive in and out of relationships so they have situationships they don't have real commitments if they're cheating they're not in a serious relationship they can say it is but that's not they're not being genuine i feel like i'm not good enough for you and i feel like i can't give you what you need and i still need time but i check on you from a distance they stalk you they watch you especially for those of you who have pictures posted social media some of you may want to take your pictures down because those karmic partners for some of you it's your dm or a karmic masculine male or female that could also be using your pictures and doing something really wrong with black magic so i would recommend if you have pictures up take them down if you're not in your priestess high priest or high priestess energy and you've done the shadow work they are so sorry for how they treated you and they know that destiny is taking you down this different path because spirit has blocked them energetically they cannot come back your way for some of you and this person was definitely pretending to be someone else at the time so this person was a narcissist for some of you and this person pretended they mimicked what you wanted them to be but they couldn't stay in that energy because that's not who they genuinely were so let's get some um books um from the the book of psalms here from my divine collective especially from my divine feminines male or female messages from my divine feminines male or female for the divine collective holy spirit please and thank you open your mouth and taste open your eyes and see how good god is psalm 34 verse 8 the lord will keep you from all harm psalm 121 verse 7 mm, mm, mm. anything else from the book of psalms from my divine feminines from my divine collective holy spirit Honor and majesty surround the Lord. Strength and beauty fill his sanctuary. Psalm 96, verse 6. With your very own hands you form me. Now breathe your wisdom over me. Psalm 119, verse 73. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving towards all he has made. Psalm 145, verse 17. When I left the womb, you cradled me. Since the moment of birth, you've been my God. Psalm 22, verse 10. This is what I gave this one to someone earlier today that needed prayer. Messages from my divine feminines, male or female, for the divine collective Holy Spirit. Messages from my divine feminines. For my divine collective holy spirit messages for my divine feminines male or female for the divine collective somebody here has to work on having a better relationship with holy spirit with god messages for my divine collective for my divine feminines And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind and with all thy strength. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
this is my first commandment. Mark 12, verse 30. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So release the matrix and renew your mind. Heal your subconscious mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Romans 12, verse, uh, chapter 12, verse 2. Some of you could be seeing 122. Something could have taken place that made a change in your life at 1230. Also, be okay. Be okay. Good courage, and he shall strengthen your heart, all ye that have, all ye that hope in the Lord. Psalm 34, verse uh, 14. No, verse 24. I'm sorry. And that is also 3 2. Hold on, family. 3414. So something needs to be put in alignment. 1, 2, 3, and 4 is right there. Be strong and courageous. That's an angel message for somebody. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord our God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy. 31st verse, chapter 6 verse somebody could be seeing 316 forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as Christ forgave you so all shall do ye so a lot of you have to learn to have forgiveness in your heart as God had forgiveness for you he forgave you you ain't perfect. I'm not perfect. Shit. We all fuck up. But God comes in and he helps you restore and heal and fix yourself. That's what the Four of Swords is about. From the illusions. From the mind games. From the fuckery. From where you've been deceived. About the snake that's in the Garden of Eden. With your twin. And healing and balancing yourself from heartbreak. From past. So, this is Colossians, third chapter, 40, 43rd verse. Somebody could be seeing 343. Three. In my distress, I called to the Lord and he answered me. Psalm 120, chapter, chapter, verse 1 chapter 120 verse 1 so someone could have something could have taken place in somebody's life at 1201 p.m. or a.m. Holy Spirit give me some affirmations from my divine feminine male or female for the divine collective Holy Spirit What is the greatest affirmations that the divine feminines need at this present time, Holy Spirit, for the divine collective? Please and thank you. Messages for my divine feminines, male or female. At the bottom of the deck, today I am present, persistent, I'm sorry. Some of you are presently being persistent. Today, nothing will stop me from accomplishing my goals. Nothing will stand in the way of my happiness. Today, I am flexible. Today, I will adapt to the changes in my life with an open mind and a positive outlook. Today, I will not compare. Today, I will not compare myself to others. I will find true peace in my own life. Some of you are not energetic. Some of you need to spend more time out in the sun, in nature. And this is also healing your solar plexus. Some of you could be Leos. Today I am filled with an... Or you have Leo placement somewhere prominently in your chart. Today I am energetic. I'm going to put this in the upright. Today I am filled with an incredible energy and enthusiasm to face this beautiful day. <clears throat>
Holy Spirit, give me some messages from the Love Oracle for my Divine Feminines for the Divine Collective. Surrender and give thanks. Stop criticizing and focus on healing, Divine Femmes. That is the message I've seen so far. Messages from my Divine Femmes. Manifesting miracles. Okay, time is needed, Divine Feminine. So some of you still need more time to heal. That's confirmation. Somebody could be sending you the evil eye, but I keep evil eye here for protection, powerful protection. Some of you are Arabic or from the Islam nation, and there's been a jinn that's been sent to you. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it will automatically transform. Emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. Take the rose-colored glasses off. This is the matrix. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Playfulness. Laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun together. And remember, love is the greatest healer. Some of you, if you're not in a relationship... Or you don't um, have a relationship currently at this time or you have children or if it's with friends that are solid good friends not karmic friends laugh sit down and watch TV by yourself watch a comedy and get the laughing get you some popcorn whatever you love whether it's uh, fresh fruit or fresh vegetables and some uh, good water or um, a juice maybe even a glass of wine for those of you um, and sit down and watch something funny so you can laugh deep in your heart you already know the answer do what feels right so listen to your intuition that stems from your mind your left um, what is it the right side of your brain and your heart give thanks to the many for the blessings of love soon to come your way so you have love coming your way divine feminines know that you deserve to be male or female to be and have all that your heart truly desires Imagine all the unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Uh, for your life. So as long as you start releasing the resentment, the bitterness, the scorn, the energy, and the heartbreak, all of this will start dissolving because you're leaving your shadow side and you're going into the light. And you open the door for more possibilities to come through in your life, Divine Femmes time you are trying too hard for some of you give it time divine timing is at work archangel michael sagittarian energy some of you may have sagittarius prominently somewhere in your chart or you could be dealing with one power you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time so stand in your power some of you have leo or you're dealing with a leo you may have leo prominently somewhere in your chart Stand in your power. That's what Spirit has been teaching you and your celestial family. Holy Spirit, your archangels, your ascended masters, your spirit guides, and your ancestors. This is why they have been in your life. To teach you to stand in your power and to gain your confidence. Manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So follow your intuitions, Divine Feminines male or female I see somebody here that's single stable and abundant there could be a reconciliation here somebody here is watching you and it could be a water sign that's imbalanced in their emotions and they need to find the courage and strength to hide uh, to stand in their power against hidden third parties or hiding 
what are they hiding? Our earth sign, or they're hiding, or they're hiding some type of work that they may have. Ooh. Some type of money they may have hid for from a fire, a fire sign that they're uh, ending it with. For some of you, yeah, there could be a lot of anger and aggression. But there is a gift here for you, divine feminines, male or female. This has been your reading, divine fems. I hope this resonates for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If anything here resonates for you, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the notification bell. That way you'll receive all the latest content that I upload and deliver to this channel. This is the mother channel of all my channels. Acceptance is here too. Some of you need to make an area in your home where you can have some peace and quiet. But um, if anybody is interested in booking a reading with me, go to the about section of my YouTube channel. And there you will find all the information to book a reading with me. And I am going to do a live for you guys. So um, some of you, you can get the experience of having a reading with me live. All right. What is this for my billionaires? Black haired woman. Comfort your babies when they feel sad and confused about anything. Somebody here, there's a black haired woman that lives in Puerto Rico or that is Puerto Rican. There's a brink heist here. And this is not for everyone. This is a billionaire. Somebody here may have full blown AIDS. Children only want to be loved and hugged every day. And this could be someone that has full blown AIDS in Denver, Colorado. Jesus, or Colorado Springs. Oh my God. What's behind it? Wealthy man observing you. He likes what he sees. Somebody could be sad or likes the color blue or there's a blue sky somewhere in Denver, Colorado or Colorado Springs or Puerto Rico. Somebody could also be blue eyed. Somebody could also be by the ocean as well. Family, this has been your reading from the Divine Collective. And this was the second half, so I'm going to title this Divine Feminine. Stay aware. Family, y'all stay blessed. Until the next reading, I wish you nothing but peace, love, health, wealth, abundance, and prosperity in every aspect of your life. Take care.